going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on the Town Hall 9 Let's Play account and this account has been coming along pretty well guys. We've started working on some of our defensive upgrades and started getting everything back up to where it should be. You know a lot of this lower stuff like the gold mine and elixir storage, the dark elixir drill, all that great stuff. I do need to get those barracks up and I do need to get the dark spell factory up a little bit as well. But that's all stuff we're working on as we kind of progress. Today my goal is to get this wizard tower down which will be up to Town Hall 8 standard and to drop our second X bow to level two as well as start getting some dark elixir to get ready to drop our heroes again guys that's the main goal always get those heroes going and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing no clan castle farming a lot of you guys request well what if i don't have you know clan mates on when i'm farming or what if my clan mates don't want to give me troops all the time well that's what we're going to be doing today guys we're going to be doing no clan castle farming to show you guys how to use lunian super effectively without clan castle troops so if you guys are pumped up for it make sure you subscribe turn on those notifications and leave a like on the video so what we're going to be doing is 34 balloons 25 minions two rage one heal spell and three haste spells sometimes i'll run the wall breakers in there to break the heroes up into the center but lately i've been just going wrecking it with the balloons with the minions and then we got our heroes as well again no clan castle troops at all on this one this army is going to cost us about 242,000 elixir which is that's about a mid-range elixir cost army and 465 dark elixir which isn't too bad either if you really want you could drop out a couple of the haste spells you know add an extra rage but honestly i like having the three haste in there especially if you're not using clan castle troops really moves those balloons through the base so i'm gonna go out i'm gonna find us some raids we're in crystal three we should be able to find tons of dead bases with tons of loot and that's what we're gonna be looking for guys easy loot out here that we can snatch up and wreck all day so let me go find a base and we'll be back really soon and bam here we have it guys this base isn't even dead but holy crap look at all that loot oh my goodness i kind of wish i had a clan castle on this one oh man that's that's the mother load right there guys uh one thing i was considering is bringing you know you could bring a skeleton spell to deal with the enemy queen and then i remembered our dark elixir spell factory isn't up so uh, if you do have skeleton spells you can throw one in there just to work on the enemy queen i don't bring poison spells because honestly down here in crystal i just don't run into a ton of clan castle troops so we're gonna go ahead and haste these balloons in here get them all working i'm gonna go with a rage right there rage right there Heal this group right there that's on that wizard tower and air defense. Wizard tower going down in the center. Uh, let's go ahead and haste right through the center. We got minions coming to take out that enemy queen, level 26 queen. And she goes down pretty fast. So usually that's what happens is the enemy queen just goes down to minions. Or sometimes the enemy queen just absolutely wrecks our troops. Uh, so we're doing pretty good getting through this base and we're getting to the center. We're probably not going to get 100% of the loot, but we're going to do pretty good on this one, guys. And that's one thing, you know, if you're not able to get clan castle troops, sometimes you just got to concede that you're not going to be able to get 100% of the loot all the time. And that's that's okay. We want to grab as much as possible. And realistically, we can probably... Those minions are doing a great job over there getting that elixir. Just looking where might be the best place served to throw in our heroes. I'm kind of thinking... As much as I want to break them in, I think we're going to try to break them in. I think we're going to try to break them in to go around this ring right outside there and then kind of go grab some of that loot, hopefully. I don't know. We'll, we'll let that go in. And this is where, you know, sometimes those mid, uh, the wall breakers in the clan castle can help out, be super effective. But I think we're going to be fine without it. Uh, that minion's going to make sure we have that funnel established. I'm going to wait to put the queen in, let that king get a little bit of a head start because the queen does move slightly faster than the king. So let's see. King's going to go ahead and get through the wall. Bam, he's through, and he's going to go around. Perfect. That's exactly what I want right there. I'm not super concerned if we don't get that elixir. Really, we need a ton of gold uh, and dark elixir. That's always our main goals right now is getting tons of gold, tons of elixir. Let's go ahead and hit our king's ability there as he's starting to take some damage. Get those uh, barbs walk, working through there. Queen's actually got range to take out the elixir collector, which is super nice. We'll get that taken down. Uh, king's going to take down that gold storage. And the queen should be able to get over towards that last dark elixir drill. Let's see. She'll take out that cannon right there. Oh, yeah. That's looking good, guys. That is looking good. We'll wait to hit her ability. Be nice and patient here. Take down that wizard tower. Oh, yeah. This is a good raid, guys. The last little bit of dark elixir is in that storage. And what we're going to have to do is be ready on her ability. Once she gets targeted by the wizard archer tower, we get to pop her ability just like so and we are good guys we get all the dark elixir most of the gold 
most of the elixir. Queen's gonna go down. No huge deal there, but super solid rate on that one, guys. 700,000, 869,000, 5,500 dark elixir. Super effective, guys. We didn't get the three star, but that doesn't matter. That's a huge raid. Get that screenshot. You know we need screenshots for the thumbnails, boys. So I'm going to hit up another raid. I'm going to get the Loonian ready. The nice thing is not having to wait in the clan castle is the army trains up a little bit faster. So we'll be back really soon, guys. All right, guys. Here we go. We got a nice raid with almost 600,000 gold, 550,000 elixir. 2700 dark elixir and i'm thinking i want to go in this way opposite side of the queen and just kind of ignore that queen honestly we'll deal with her later with the heroes if we have to but we're just going to go ahead get our balloons going in get our minions going in haste on the edge haste on the edge uh we'll save a few minions there oh we got a union buster i think that's destroying builder huts that's awesome uh free gems you can't beat that let's go ahead and get rages going up towards the center of the base we will save our heal spell i like having the heal in there uh, just, you know, when you need it to get through, like, areas with, uh, lots of damage, or wizard towers, or splash damage, etc. All that great stuff. It does a good job keeping those balloons alive. Now, we're kind of seeing, we're doing good, we're doing good. Enemy Queen was kind of messing with us. Maybe I should have used the King at the beginning of the raid. But, honestly, I think we'll be alright on this one. Uh, I'm gonna throw in the King and the Queen. I'm gonna wait for the King to work just a little bit. Those minions going to get taken out, but we did get all the Dark Elixir. Always top priority is get that Dark Elixir and get that taken down. So let's uh, go ahead and hit our King's ability, get him working through the last remaining buildings here. Uh, we got minions on the Town Hall, which is great. Enemy Queen going to get taken out by our King right here. Perfect. We still got our Queen working. She's going to come over and take out a storage. Of course, she's going to go for the storage rather than the Archer Tower, but that's okay. Archer Tower going to go down from the Queen right there. Simple stuff, guys. Just come in and taking out these dead bases, getting the gold, getting the elixir, and just moving forward. I mean, that's that's all you got to do, really. Just find these easy dead bases in the Crystal Leagues. You don't need a clan castle for it. And if you really want, if you're, you know, struggling a little bit, you could throw a Lava Hound into your comp. You know, take out five minions, take out uh, four balloons, and make room for a Lava Hound that way. But honestly, I think you could save the Dark Elixir and not worry about having a Lava Hound in there. Personally, i do well without it, so I don't even sweat it. I mean... You know, sometimes I'm going to leave a little bit of loot on the table, but not enough to make me sacrifice that amount of Dark Elixir. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and get that gold. And we can just end right there, guys. Not enough to really worry about. 587,000, almost 550,000 Elixir and 2,700 Dark Elixir. Not too shabby, right? Let's go ahead and hit another raid, and then we'll go back home, upgrade some stuff, and hit another couple raids after that. All right, guys. A nice, huge raid right here. And we don't have our heroes, so we're just going to go in and hope for the best on this one. Uh, I'm going to go in on this side because both of the Dark Elixir drills are on this side. And also, we will only have to take on one sweeper doing this. So we don't have heroes, so we got to try to make the most of our Lunian phase here. Let's go ahead and haste, haste. And we're going to go with a really nice and fast rage right there. Uh... Ugh. Our balloon's taking a little bit of damage fast right out the gate. Let's go ahead and haste, or heal that group. And I haste that group to get them moving through. And I think I want to rage. I want to save the rage for up here. Away from that queen. Oh, that queen's just going to be a little bit of a problem. Alright, so let's go ahead and get that going. Oh, the balloons are going right for the queen. Oh, this one's going to look bad, guys. This one's going to look all bad. Uh, because all those balloons just went towards the queen. And I did not save enough minions. Mmm. That happens sometimes. We did get all the Dark Elixir, which is positive. However, we got the win as well. I mean, the win was, it's almost a given with this. It's really hard to fail with Lunian unless something comes out of the clan castle, I've noticed. So, Enemy Queen's gonna finally go down. However, is it too late? Uh, we're gonna put that last minion in there. I should have probably saved a couple minions. We'll get some good loot. No, uh, we'll get some good Dark Elixir. However,. Mm, probably not my best raid and that happens sometimes you know sometimes you'll favor one side or another a spell placement could have been better which my spells could have definitely oh my spells can always be better i feel i feel like my spells are just they're just atrocious but that's okay uh we'll have the minion just keep working let them keep cleaning up as much as possible and uh see how we finish out here i mean actually I'm getting quite a bit of loot here Probably more than we deserve, to be honest. Uh, I think even if he gets in range of that elixir storage, our collector, he's going to go ahead and get taken out. So we'll go ahead. Still a modest raid. 300,000, 400,000, 3k dark elixir. Let's go back home here. Uh, we get a nice star bonus. Let's get our expo upgrading, which will be perfect. Upgrading to level 2. We'll get that working. Not going to use the book of everything on that. I'm going to save that book of everything for probably a hero upgrade. Uh, we'll go to our treasury. 
collect that and really in two days we have our lab opening up and i've been trying to think about what i want to do in the lab next and honestly i have no clue guys i have no clue i really want to get my heroes going up which means i probably should do an elixir upgrade i was thinking maybe the archers or the barbarians so maybe i shouldn't save spend that elixir you know what i mean so let's go ahead and drop this wizard tower and then what i'm going to do is for this last raid i'm going to throw in a lava hound so you guys can kind of see how the army works with a lava hound of your own rather than in the clan castle all right guys an awesome raid here to finish on and it's pretty interesting of a base looking around at it we got air defenses all over the place so what we're going to do is we're going to go in from the bottom here actually where are the drills all right we got a drill over here drill over there the drills are kind of spread out so honestly i'm going to go in from the bottom and we'll kind of hope for the best i did accidentally request a clan castle but we're just not going to use that we'll go ahead with our lava hound in there i think we have balloons in the clan castle but again we're doing no clan castle farming rage up the middle oh it's so hard not to drop that clan castle i tell you oh my god so the nice thing about throwing a lava hound in is the tank factor obviously the lava hounds are going to be able to tank and help you out a little bit more Whereas if you don't have that Lava Hound, you don't really have a tank in there and the balloons are kind of just on their own. Which, I mean, we saw. They, that could still work fine. But having that extra little bit of tanking in there can be really huge. I mean, that Lava Hound just tanked that whole air defense. That way our balloons didn't get taken down right away by the air defense. I mean, this is a Town Hall 10 base with some good level defenses and that stupid queen. Queens are like my worst enemy today. Let's go ahead and throw that in right there just to take out that sweeper. Okay, that'll work out. Enemy queen, is she gonna go down or is she gonna stay on our stuff? Uh, she's all over the place. Let's uh, let's go ahead and throw in our queen. Actually, those minions, oh, they almost got all the dark elixir. Where's the rest of the dark elixir? In the center of the base. Oh, that's rough. This is where you need wall breakers, guys. All right, let's see if we can get the queen to go into the center of the base here. Peanuts on the video. I'm telling you, he's he's been really weird. Popping up in the videos lately. Uh, normally he doesn't hop up on my desk but apparently he likes being on video so let's let the queen do her thing see if we can get a little bit of this dark elixir we kind of left behind with our baby level 14 queen which i need to farm up a ton so we can get her going up to level 15 which will be huge and grind these heroes i got some walls to do like i feel like i'm falling behind on this account guys it's so hard keeping up with how many accounts i play i try to do my best but it can be really hard so queen's doing exactly what i wanted to do going right up towards that dark elixir storage and we will be able to get the dark elixir so there you guys have it i mean you could definitely farm without clan castle troops clan castle troops not a requirement but you know if you're able to get them obviously they're going to help out so queen's going to go ahead i'm going to just pop her ability because we're going to get out since we're at 70 percent we'll get out right after that nice supple raid so there you guys have it 500,000, 500,000, 5500 dark elixir no clan castle farming super viable super easy to do and there's some good examples for you guys. I know I get a lot of requests for stuff like this. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys have any requests, make sure you put it down in the comment section. I might just use it in a video sometime. Uh, I've tried to remember who requests stuff and shout them out, but I couldn't find a specific example for this one. So thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.